M. Visvesvaraya, the builder of dams, bridges and a nation. Author. Mala Kumar. Illustrators. Krupa Thakur Padal, Sachin Pandit, Shashadri Mokshagundam. Photographer. Visvesvaraya National Memorial Trust. Dadder. Dad. Dad. The books fell down as Mangala reached for an old trunk. Amma came running. Ah, my Sir MV book. She said and picked it up. He autographed it for Mitaji, see? Mangala sat next to her mother. Did you know your great grandmother went to college only because of him? Amma asked. But wasn't Sir MV an engineer? What did he have to do with Mataji's education? Asked Mangala. Oh yes, he was an engineer and built bridges and dams and buildings, but he also did so much more. You know what, tomorrow let's go to Medinahali, the place where he was born. The house in the hills in the small village of Medinahali, near present-day Bengaluru, is a house surrounded by rocky hills. Here a baby boy was born on September 15, 1860. Next to his house is a small office that he built when he became an engineer. The office is now a museum. Each exhibit tells a story about this engineer Sir Mokshagundam Visvesvaraya. Now that's a really long name. So people started referring to him as Sir MV. His friends called him Vishwa. When Visvesvaraya graduated from Central College, Bengaluru, Principal Charles Waters presented him with a dictionary. Visvesvaraya used it for the next 80 years. A very thrifty person, he once said in a speech. If you buy what you do not need, you will need what you cannot buy. Team clearing sand from the bed of the stream. Visvesvaraya was passionate about water conservation. He designed many water supply, drainage and irrigation systems across the country. Visvesvaraya also designed or advised on water supply systems in Aden, now in Yemen, Kolhapur, Inder, Gwalior, Bhopal, Nagpur, Goa, Rajkit, Vadnagar, Baroda, Sangli and across Bihar and Odisha. 1894 service in signed. Designed a water filtration system on the riverbed to supply clean water to Sukkur, in Sindh, now in Pakistan. 1889 new irrigation system. Designed a system of irrigation for the Bombay Presidency that could distribute water to large blocks of land and increase the output of crops. It was called the Block System of Irrigation. 1908, drainage for Hyderabad. Cyclonic rains caused the Musi River to flood. Thousands of people were killed. The Nizam of Hyderabad invited Visvesvaraya to design a drainage and water supply system to prevent such losses. Automatic sluice gates. The Katakvasla Reservoir, Pune's water source, would overflow every monsoon. But the water that it could hold wasn't enough for the summer. Visvesvaraya designed a system of automatic gates that increased the capacity of the reservoir, which he patented as the automatic sluice gates. Similar systems were installed in Tigra Dam, near Gwalior, and Krishna Rajasekar Dam, near Missouri. Patent. A government authority or listings conferring a right or title for a set period, especially the sole right to exclude others from making, using, or selling an invention. On a visit to his old school in Medinahali, he gave a packet of chocolates to the students. When he was asked to give a speech, 
Sir MV spoke only for five minutes because he wasn't prepared. Unhappy with that, he came back a few days later with a well-prepared speech. When he resigned as chairman of the Meiser Iron Works, which he founded, a large sum of money was due to him. Vesvesvaraya wanted it to be used to start a college where boys could learn a profession. So the Sri Jayachmarajendra Occupational Institute was set up in Bengaluru. It is now called Sri Jayachmarajendra Polytechnic. The first Ganesha made at the Mysore Iron Works, later renamed Visvesvaraya Iron and Steel Plant. Institutions that Sir M. V. helped to set up Government Engineering College, renamed University Visvesvaraya College of Engineering, Bengaluru. Hebel Agricultural School, that led to the formation of University of Agricultural Sciences. Sri Jayachmarajendra Polytechnic College, Bengaluru Mysore University. An honor for the genius by now, Visvesvaraya was recognized for his work as an engineer and a leader in many parts of the country. In 1915, while he was the Duan of Mysore, the British government made him a Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire, KCIE. From then on, he was called Sir M. Visvesvaraya. Strong beliefs Visvesvaraya was a very simple man. He focused almost all his energy and thoughts on nation building. He believed that all people should be respected for the work they did. During the Missouri Dasara celebrations, British officers sat on chairs while Indian officers had to sit on the floor or remain standing at the back. Visvesvaraya stopped going to these Durbars because of the discrimination. The government noticed this and got chairs for the Indian officers too. A special car ride once, when Visvesvaraya was quite old, he wanted to go to his village. Chief Minister Kenjal Hanumanthaya said he could take a government car. But as he wasn't going on official business, Visvesvaraya refused. So the CM drove him in his personal car. Team leader big buildings and structures cannot be built by a single person. Dreamers, researchers, funders, masons, laborers and many others have to work together to build them. Sir M. V. worked hard and efficiently, inspiring everyone around him to give their best too. Once when he was on a study tour in America, Visvesvaraya's host said the group had to climb a four-floor high ladder to see how a particular machine worked. Everyone was scared. Not Sir M. V. He climbed nimbly all the way to the top. He was 85 years old. In his 90s, he was called upon by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru to examine several proposals for bridges to be built over the Ganga. He first did an aerial survey of the region. No one expected him to come to inspect the rocky and dangerous terrain. Since Sir M. V. never did anything without thorough study and preparation, of course he traveled to the region to make notes. Based on the location selected by him, a road Coom railway bridge was built near Makama, Bihar. Love for reading Sir M. V. was always eager to learn. When he was more than a hundred years old, a relative asked him what he wanted from Chennai. Get me a good modern dictionary, he replied. The dictionary is now in the Medenaheli Museum. Sir M. V. helped to set up the Mysore Agricultural Residential School. It later became the University of Agricultural Sciences. The rock on which he liked to sit has been named after him. 
Among the books in his personal library were poems of Caber, Arabian Nights, Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer Abroad, Charles Dickens' The Pickwick Papers, Dr. Peter Schmidt's Don't Be Tired, Macmillan's Promotion of Happiness, and Rabindranath Tagore's Stray Birds. Also in the library were books that he wrote. Memoirs of My Working Life, Constructing India, Nation Building. A five-year plan for the provinces and prosperity through industry. As an engineer and a person who valued education and discipline, Sir M. V. was an inspiration to millions of people. Among them was a boy called Ramu, who used to read out to him from the newspapers when Visbesvaraya's eyesight became weak. He wanted Ramu to come on time, read to him and leave for school on time. For this, Sir M. V. paid him 10 pays every day. Ramu's reading improved and he grew up to become a teacher. After he retired, he became a scoutmaster in Tumakuru and taught physical exercise, memory games, first aid and sports to children for free. Visbesbaraya Industrial and Technological Museum September 15 is celebrated as National Engineers Day in honor of Sir Mokshagundam Visbesbaraya, an outstanding engineer and visionary. Visbesvaraya helped set up the Karnataka Sahityu Parishit, later renamed Kannada Sahityu Parishit, in Bengaluru, to bring together people who spoke different dialects of the language. Sir M. V.'s office turned into a museum. Kadik Vasla, Maharashtra Dul, Maharashtra. Kannada Sahityu Parishit Mysore Sandal Oil Factory State Bank of Mysore. Always an inspiration Sir M. V.'s room at the Medenahalli Museum. A Farmer's Tribute. Art on a Bullock Cart.